Selfies. First he first he does your dirty with the facial hair and now he can't even I see know, man. Oh, what I is know. this? What is this? No, let's uh, let's get this one going. Six games coming your way today, everyone. And as you know, weekly survival, one win grants your seat in the weekly finals. Now let's see. Now let's see how this one will start off. First things first, this plane path poro it, we we've seen better, haven't we? Yeah, this one's kind of rough. This one's definitely kind of rough. I'm uh, honestly going to be looking right off the bat to some of these road spots where some of the cars spawn to see if uh, we might see some early fighting over those vehicles. But kind of kind of funny that we only see three teams dropping on military given that plane. Yeah, a lot of a um, lot of south side opportunities for teams to try and utilize. But as you say, only or as you see only. A couple of teams down there, and I mean, Ensign and Freak of Freaks landing right next to each other in the Novo kind of uh, perimeter. That's that's a little surprising. I, I can't really recall the oh. last time we had two teams down around Novo. Now let's see Meta. It's just wicked. He's kind of surrounded by 4 a.m., but I wouldn't assume to see anything going on here. And now let's see where's the circle go. <laughs> that oh, is oh. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, <laughs> oh, I, th my goodness. I, th I thought it has something to do with Paper Thin being on here to get their wild and ragged circle. They may be able to do a little bit of gatekeeping here from some of these military teams and some of our late arrivals from the Eastern Edge. Meanwhile, FaZe and Sonics, uh oh, Sonics got there a little bit quicker. So, oh. this might be FaZe bombing into a compound that they did not get a chance to scout, and they're going to pay the price. Shrimp's going to get two right off the bat with the barrel shots what? where's the rest of phase etsy oh no they were not expecting this whatsoever it's very rare to see phase kind of go into an area without at least scouting first so them not really scouting coming into this must be a clear telling that they were not anticipating anyone to be around here this early on etsy is still alive he has three knocked players so if he can pull out a miracle he might be That's able to get them all enough of that nature be on point and it is Adrian mime and shrimps you all in on the action as face just gets to the swamp and they get taken out instantly Mm -mm -mm. This is the craziest circle I think I've what? ever seen in Circle 3. Oh no. That is... Oh, meta. That is a pretty good jump out of the vehicle and get the kill on to Maui, but what? Maui almost broke. The, 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 well, the main issue here is there's so much open space in the field. There's so much open terrain south of where um, now T1 just pulled up. They just made, by the way, we didn't see it on screen, but they just made a very heads up rotation. T1 over towards that. Even though it's a small compound, just two buildings. Very smart play from them. And now we talked about the attack all around splitting and how it could come to cost them. Ooh. They are two alone versus all of MTG. Making it happen so far. It looks like they're going to try to get the knocks there. They're not going to try to flush them. No, no, you don't really worry about that right now. Obviously, you're not caring about points. You're just trying to get these two back towards the rest of their team. And they have a gauntlet to get through. And look at this. They're actually going to make it because Ensign Meta have to worry about fighting each other. T1 hasn't really set yeah. themselves up yet. Gex doesn't have a line of sight onto it. Now AAA will be able to reconnect as TSG is pushing them from the south. I think a lot of these teams coming in from That's... the north now, they're just hoping to get kills. They're, they're hoping oh, yeah. to, to maybe survive. I was going to say the Look kills are going to be great to get, but there is just there's no reward. There's no reward for the kills, at least not right now, other than you've been able to wave some stats on Twitter. Maybe this is survival, all about survival and no one can survive. There are simply oh too many gosh. teams. Massive Let's credit, while all hairs, like all kinds of health breaks lose here. Massive credit to attack all around, being able to make that play on down here. Kauri, one HP, has to commit to shooting. It ain't gonna work. Kick's not able to find him, seeing if they're going full pull up mode, and they have to. We know how difficult this terrain is, and the next circle is gonna go even further south. Oh my lord, is this circle bad? When have we ever seen three teams fight here? This is X. This is absolutely brutal. I mean, it's absolutely <laughs> brutal. And, you know, Zenith, for their part, did a good job of trailing. Technically, we're still inside the circle, and right now, Burr Ram, because they have the hillside still, are going to hold us down. So let's just wait and see if they have to move the next circle in the meantime. EX getting neighbors visiting. Wally Bear tries to pull up, but it's actually going to be Yanko from the other side getting mm. him down. And oh, Sills, and once again, with the mid action, this time, well, not him flying. That was Peng, and he goes down. Weren't many options available to TSG, but 
sending it right down the gut doesn't end up paying off there as we see them go down meanwhile attack all around who's trying to hold them off for the better part of uh, their compound there they're they're still alive there in the southwest and okay here's what we were worried about the bury rom yeah pinch from the north infantry from the south this was just looking horrible for stk all along all they had was smokes and rocks to work with and this is yeah. just feels like a matter of time before this is going to get wrapped up here it all depends on uh, where their nine spots Luke and Uncivil above. And now one has been seen. I believe that's Uncivil. Yep, taking damage already. So at least they know where he is. And with the burning vehicle, you have to expect nine to be aware. Actually, it's going to be connected from above. So just when you thought Luke might have a chance, here comes Buran from above and slaughters Luke within seconds. And now let's see Ooh. how infantry managed to do this. They finished off yesterday with a 19 kill third place or if there's a team that really feel hungry for a win here that would be infantry this is going to be rough stuff here for mcg it's even going to be harder to hold for zenith is now 4 a.m has to go somewhere too and that ends spot is looking pretty tasty as shilu gonna find diggory the throwables are still coming out now here's the thing and still has a whole bunch of utility Ooh. i don't think meta has much of anything meta sent everything they had down at end so sonics has been able to just kind of hang out there meanwhile 4 a.m is just landing grenade after grenade this was always going to be rough for ends here i think it's just down yeah. to tixu now and uh it's just going to be a matter of time before those smokes go away vehicles are great for cover but it is also like hiding like hiding behind a big red barrel it mm. will uh, work against you at some point especially if you don't have anywhere to go take suit trying to stay put within these smokes down to 40 hp trying to bandage his way to security and you can see this is also detrimental how early teams had to rotate he's down to just third team bandages no first aids in the meantime oh seen it want to take really control know. but it ain't happening tank holding off finds two let's see if he can take down kickstart as well no not gonna happen down he goes and this might give time Two Zeniths to get the rest of them. I'm sure Shinboy should be able to get back up on his feet as well if he can crawl into the circle fast enough. Rot that is, sorry. And there he goes, Tixu. And uh, actually, Sonic's creeping over there and stealing a couple of those away. So, Meta looks like they tried to send Silzen over the top to maybe peek around the smoke, and he ends up paying the price. You can see they still have some Molotovs going, but look at the damage Sonic's has taken here. Boot, my man, Trimzy, on a 1 HP somehow staying alive and holding it down as forever uh oh summer i think i think you're about to have <laughs> a, 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 a nicely cooked <laughs> present thrown your way here is oh look at this meta yep 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 they crash into the compound they're sitting tight note to self don't put suppressors on your dmrs they will be uh will be visible sometimes through those walls oh, in summer despite being flashed actually wins the trade just to be kicked out of the server by kickstart immediately after so down he goes and uh huh okay so zenith for a while now uh -oh. since they lost their Wookie and Iro, so it's just vod and miraku sitting in a shack and now some na on na action here uh, zenith well, they have to push forward. They do still have the dip that Meta was in before. I'm not sure if they realize, but they should be able to take that and play over the top. Now nades, though, are going to come into full effect. One knock on each side so far, but seems like all the damage has been done over towards Sonic's right now. Nice nade to follow. Kickstart continuing to do a ton of damage. It's just, this is a this is a really hard fight for Sonic's here. The lines that Zenith is able to get. Uh, and, and the fact that they still have so much utility left. Meanwhile, yeah, Roth is going to find Tig. This is just Sonic's getting picked apart piece by piece. Zenith is looking really, really strong right now as yeah. they have been fighting throughout this entire game, and they're going to fight their way to this spot, and they're going to have the whole north of themselves here as soon as they can take out the last player, Tiggleton. This brings me straight back to um, I'll, I'll, oh, I'll hold the thought just because I don't want to I don't want to jinx anything. But this brings me straight back to to their win on on um, in Yasnaya on a wrangle in week two. They were playing like as, as, as soon as they started pushing, as soon as they started aggressing and playing together, they were playing it so incredibly well. Now let's see, it's not over and one just yet. We do still have people on the other side. Shin Boy underneath the car finds Tickleton. It's just Rimson at the life. He finds Poonage. Don't allow that flush to come in. Hold your player. Make sure to keep him alive. Now spots one on the other side, but it ain't gonna matter. Kickstart is there over the top to get the kill and continuing 
continuing to keep Bo alive is seen it, and they're really, really doing a great job at that exactly. In the meantime, Furram does fall on the south side of the city, and that's just make things easier for seen it as the circle just went towards them. And they still have that bowl. They still have that exactly. meta bowl that they can work with. I mean, T1 is in kind of a rough position. They've got to make their way across the street, but where do you go? I mean, you, I guess you can kind of go up to the base uh, where Zenith is and just kind of pray that maybe they don't have much utility left, which I got to imagine uh, they, they got to be sitting pretty light, but they just managed to kill off what's left of Sonics. I don't know how much they had, so we'll see. Zenith still feels like they're in a pretty strong position, and now AAA has made their move. Where are they going to go? Probably the hill outside, right? Yeah, there. they have to sub have there, to, but yeah. it's going to be... Yeah, but it's going to be hard for them. I mean, now they have to worry about the hilltop while also at the same time trying to deal with T1. But I got to say, I mean, for a team that I've been giving a lot of uh, hard times for being too passive, I love the fact that they rotated in here when they did. They knew that T1 hadn't rotated yet. Now they might get to beat them on the rotation. Let's see. They try to come over the top. They try oh. to take the play up towards oh, Zenith. And they just will not have it. Zenith! I do not know what you had for breakfast today, guys, but I want some of it because you are wrecking all of these guys. They have no place to play from whatsoever. They're looking so strong, and that grenade will take out Aqua. Adder's going to be down next. Triple A doing a little bit of service for Zenith as well. They pick up a few kills, but as you said, I mean, Triple A, they're in a great position. They have this whole Western ridge line that they can play around. Zenith is really kind of their only problem. You've got the two, two teams that are in compound. Uh, Meta and Gex, they don't really have to move at all. Uh, it no. looks like Gex might be doing a little bit of repositioning. Uh, and Meta is just sitting inside holding angles. That's all they have to do. Zenith currently have an equal amount of route kind of fall off. With with the exception of the very nice push out towards Liquid they had, which got them their win on Pachinki last week. We haven't really seen a whole lot of 4v4 up close dominance from attack all around. This could change though. We'll see, because this is a pretty good one. And right now it has Zenith pushing forward. And look at him. Oh, this is clean stuff. And look at Kickstart. Does he get them all? Yeah, he does. 17 Christ. kills now for Zenith and they have taken what it could arguably be considered the winning spot. And oh, look at this five head play from Roth. Like he it. knows, he knows that they need to expect this push from Gex, the wrap around. This is Gex's only real play and Roth already over there. Uh, I, I guess they're just hoping that maybe GEX and Kickstarter, or not Kickstarter, but Zenith get involved in a fight and maybe they can then make their move out. And now GEX, for their part, realize that Zenith has read them like a book. So now they realize, okay, the better fight is to try to go and take meta. Yeah, they want to be... They, I mean, GEX right now are doing everything to, to force meta to make a move, but they're holding their hand. They're they're waiting. They're not doing anything. And, and I, it makes sense to the extent that meta wanted to push out when GEX and Zenith started fighting, but now they've waited so long. Now this play is just making it like becoming much much harder. They have the blue on the back there up against the wall. It's gonna be so hard for them. GEX are here and Zenith could not wish for anything else. They will get yet again a third party opportunity to push forward. Now first one to fall is gonna be sparking the cold in the corner. I don't see a world where you can get out of here alive. It's gonna be so incredibly difficult. They took their time. They waited too long and this should be the downfall of meta. Yes, there they go. And now it's just Zenith and GEX left alive. Four versus one. And it's down to just CC, as we said. We knew. Oh, CC will find one. No, Roth will clean it up. And is that a 22 kill game what? for Zenith? Look at Roth. He doesn't even believe it. <laughs> They're mind blown. 22 kill chicken dinner. That is utterly insane we talked about it yesterday infantry pulled off a 19 kill game and we were like oh that's impressive but i mean their teams here are so good we don't expect to see that again the very next game zenith comes out and hits a 22 bomb and brings home the chicken dinner in a game where kills don't even matter they make this <laughs> they, they, they make the server look silly they were fighting from the disadvantaged positions in so many of their engagements and wow what a game that just does not happen at this level of pubg in competitive pubg 22 kill, kill games are so rare screenshot it chat because this is not something that you will see very often